Whispers of the Forgotten Enclave. I stumbled upon the abandoned village quite by accident, my path through the dense forest veering unexpectedly towards the Forgotten Enclave. It was as if the foliage itself had conspired to guide me there, a whisper in the wind, a haunting melody that beckoned me to explore its forgotten lanes and dilapidated structures. The trees parted like solemn sentinels, revealing the desolate hamlet frozen in time. A shroud of mist draped over the silent houses, their weathered facades standing testament to years of neglect. Curiosity mingled with trepidation as I stepped cautiously onto the cobblestone streets, each footfall echoing in the quiet emptiness. Windows gaped like vacant eyes, offering fleeting glimpses into lives once lived, a shattered doll, a rusted kettle, relics of an existence abruptly abandoned. Nature had begun to reclaim what was rightfully hers. Ivy crept up the walls, reclaiming territory inch by inch. My gaze was drawn to the town square, where a decrepit fountain stood as a monument to forgotten days. Its stone basin, now a sanctuary for moss and ferns, hinted at a time when laughter mingled with the splashing water. As I ventured deeper, a sense of unease settled in my chest. Whispers danced on the fringes of perception, fleeting and indistinct. Shadows flitted at the edge of vision, teasing my senses with their elusiveness. I found myself retracing steps, each corner of the village revealing more mysteries shrouded in eerie silence. At the heart of the village lay an ancient church, its spire pointing accusingly at the heavens. The wooden doors groaned as I pushed them ajar, revealing an interior cloaked in darkness. Stained glass cast fragmented rainbows across the pews, a stark contrast to the dust-laden air. A peculiar sensation overcame me, a feeling of being watched, unseen eyes tracing my every movement. I quickened my pace, the echo of my own footsteps bouncing off the walls. The church seemed to hold secrets within its time-worn walls, secrets that whispered of forgotten prayers and unseen presences. Outside once more, I encountered an old well, its stone structure weathered by time. My fingers traced the moss-covered rim, feeling the cool touch of history. With a curiosity that bordered on fascination, I peered into its depths, the darkness yawning back at me, a void that seemed to swallow the echoes of the village. That's when I heard it, the faintest murmur, a melody carried by the wind. A voice, distant and ethereal, seemed to resonate from the well's depths, a haunting refrain that lingered in the air before fading into the silent embrace of the abandoned village. Chilled to the bone, I hastened my steps, eager to leave behind the spectral whispers and the mysteries that clung to the forgotten village. The forest welcomed me back with its familiar embrace, and as I glanced over my shoulder, the village seemed to vanish into the mist, leaving me with the echo of that haunting melody, a lingering enigma that whispered of untold stories and unseen specters. It was a place forever etched in memory, an abandoned village lost to time, where echoes of forgotten whispers lingered in the stillness, waiting for curious souls to uncover their secrets. Yet, as I walked away, a part of me remained haunted by the lingering mysteries, the unanswered questions that begged to be unraveled in the heart of that forgotten enclave. The fading light danced through the canopy as I retraced my steps, contemplating the enigmatic allure of the abandoned village. It was a place where time stood suspended, where history whispered in hushed tones, and where the weight of the unknown lingered in the very air. The allure of those whispers and the unspoken stories echoed in my mind, leaving an indelible mark that compelled me to return, to seek answers amidst the spectral remains of a forgotten world. The moon ascended, casting a silvery glow over the forest, and I found myself drawn back to the village, compelled by an insatiable thirst for the truths concealed within its deserted embrace. The whispers of the past beckoned, weaving tales of forgotten tales and unresolved mysteries, a siren's call that pulled at the strings of my curiosity, promising answers to the enigmas that lay buried within the spectral enclave. The night grew darker as I ventured deeper, the village's quietude enveloping me in an otherworldly embrace. 
Each step felt heavier, laden with the weight of unknown secrets. The village, bathed in moonlight, seemed to transform, the shadows lengthening and the whispers growing more fervent, a symphony of the forgotten that danced through the moonbeams.